Hello, this video is for um, 81 Dark and Lovely. She wanted me to <clears throat> do a video um, response to her question, which was uh, what's the products that I use to blend my Indian Remy hair by MissPerfectHair.com. And actually, um, I took that hair out, not because I dislike it or anything, uh, because I received my Brazilian hair that I ordered. So I was so anxious to try it, I took the other hair out and put this in. But um, I did want to at least show you the products that I use to blend my hair um, with the extensions and also the method that I do to uh, put it up at night before I go to bed um, to prevent it from matting and stuff. Alright, what I, what I was doing when I was wearing it wavy because I wore it both wavy and straight. But to blend it when it's wavy, my hair is naturally curly. And I will show a picture of my natural curly hair. So it was really, it's really easy for me to blend um, anything that's like wavy or curly um, with my hair because my hair curls up. But what I would do is I would wash, co-wash the extensions and my hair and let it air dry. But before it dried, I would put the uh, IC um, hair gel or either I would use the Eco Style Gel, either one. Either one, both of them, they were good on my hair and it helps to define the wave and the curl pattern. So I used either one of these on my natural hair just right up in here and right up in here around the hairline to blend it in with the extension. <clears throat> and then on the extensions, the only thing that I use is a, um, I would take, even though it's wet, I would take a spray bottle that has water in it and Garnier Fruit Teeth Sleek and Shine Conditioner. Let me get it. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I will use this. The Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. I will put like three drops in one of these spray bottles with some water. And then I would just have to you know, saturate the hair with it. Um, <clears throat> I don't like to put a lot of stuff in the hair because I don't want to weigh it down. But this does, it's a leave-in conditioner so it's pretty good. And it's not heavy. So I put that in, in my hair. And then I will put a little bit, a little bit, of this wet, wavy curl cream. Um, I put maybe between a nickel to a quarter size um, in my hand of this. And you know, do one of these numbers with the hair. And all of this is why I still, you know, still wet. And then I will let it air dry. And like I said, I have the gel here on my hair. And it just, and it blends in really good. Um, another trick or, or tip that I can give is like with that last sew in, what I did was I had, I, I probably, I, I might put up an install video. But what I did was with this one, I left more hair out. So I'm leaving this much hair out with this install. But the last one that I did with that Indian wavy, I had my tracks. I had about maybe an inch of my hair out here. And probably not even a half of an inch of my hairline out. So I didn't have a whole lot of hair to try to make blend. Um, because the tracks were like right up up against my natural hair and, and like I said I only had about maybe an inch in width left out so it wasn't like it was a lot of hair to try to blend it was just you know one of those things where I put the tracks really close here and I put the tracks probably to here so it just gave the illusion that it was really really wavy when it was really the Miss Perfect hair that was wavy so I had it so close to my hairline here and here. So it's not too hard to blend when you don't have a whole lot of your hair out. So that's one thing I could probably recommend is that if you if your hair texture isn't 
exactly the texture of the extension. Um, don't leave a whole lot of your hair out. Leave enough to give the appearance that, you know, leave your hair out, your hairline out. But don't leave a whole lot out that you're going to have a problem with blending. Just leave uh, enough of it out that a little gel or something will help um, help it blend. I hope that makes sense. But, um, yeah, that's all I used in that hair. I mean, that hair was awesome. Now, this hair right here, this hair right here, no. <laughs> this hair is awesome, too. It's really soft. Um, I haven't done anything to it yet. I just installed it last night. Um, only thing I did today when I wore it to work was since I left all of my hair out here, I just kind of like, you know pinned it up on the sides like that and just wore it, you know, wavy or whatever. But I'm gonna style it. I left more hair out on this um, on this one because I wanted to wear like bangs and stuff like that, you know, you know, maybe some swoop bangs or something. Um, <clears throat> and this hair seems to blend really good with my hair too but um, I hope that helped and um, let me know if you order that hair and send me a video so I can see um, how that turns out for you and I hope this was helpful and uh, thanks for asking for my assistance bye almost got okay how I take care of my hair at night I just section it off like this and I do an old school braid and I just braid the hair in like two braids on each side like this on, on both sides uh, do the same thing over here This is how I used to wear my hair back in the day when I was a little girl. <laughs> so I would do this. My camera's about to die. Okay, you get the just of it. Have my two plaits. Take it, put it up like this. Get my satin bonnet. Put that on. Time for night night.